Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We are starting off today here in the world in a little 57 person free for all battle. We have put down our spot nice and early in Central Asia, North Central Asia. Fortunately, we do have somebody coming in up above us. Hopefully he does leave and he does. Wonderful. So I always try and stick to my spot. I feel like people will get nervous and leave. Sometimes you do get butt in with somebody really quickly, but you know, that's the best you can do. Now, as we kind of look to expand, we do have some room to do so. We have a lot of room around us. So we'll go ahead and be a little bit cautious. You know, actually, let's go be aggressive. We have room to get around us. Let's try and get it. Soviet Union is already a bot. So we have to keep that in mind. The bot is going to attack whoever it touches. So that is just an unfortunate thing. Hopefully, because it is a bot early, it won't be too detrimental in our overall plan. We do have a number of people around us. We have Japan over to our right. We have this Russian player over to our north. But we'll just try and squeeze the rest of these bots. That Russian player is attacking that bot fully. So let's try and steal some of his land. Keep pushing down south. Keep grabbing the land wherever we can. And go into him really hard really quickly. Yeah, if he wants to keep full sending, keep doing this challenge. I have no qualms with getting this guy out early. So now that we've weakened him to a good degree, let's go ahead and focus in on the real target, which is getting these bots. He's being a little bit more conservative with this troop, so I don't really need to push him down right away. We'll have the advantage over him, but we need to grab land so that we can fight other people. Oh, Soviet Union is not a bot. I thought I saw that it was grayed out. But no, no, no. He is a person, so that's something to be careful of as he starts to expand. That is a little bit unfortunate. I probably would have gone into that Russian player as hard, but kind of bullying him off the board a little bit did, you know, make him think twice about growing. Now, we did have the crown briefly. Now, the player to ourselves did get it. These guys are going in on this green player. I'll be a part of this. He goes, becomes a bot. So hopefully, we can just sneak on through. Unfortunately, he does attack us at the wrong time. We are still able to sneak on through. We do cut off the Russian player who does, again, really attack heavily. This must be a new player or he's kind of doing some challenge. So we'll go grab the rest of his land. And what I thought was going to be initially a negative is a positive for us. Now, because he is a bot, we'll just kind of ignore him and kind of wait for beta a couple of his attacks. I'm just nervous about how many people are around me who have a lot of troops. So now we'll go ahead and start to whittle him down as we have kind of equal hit an equilibrium with people around us. We'll grab the rest of this land so that bot doesn't keep attacking us slowing down our growth so now kind of looking around we are a little bit stuck we have saved the bots keston and soviet union all of us with similar troops to us we are in third place so we're stronger than all of them but we need to kind of build up that troop count so that we don't get bullied up on right at this moment i don't really want a truce with save the bots or soviet union at least for the time being uh i don't want to betray a truce and they get full sent on so that's kind of my concern. That's what I'm waiting on. We're just going to have to see how things go. Keston down south is a very appealing target. Has a lot of troops or has a lot of land, not necessarily all the troops. Westeros is looking for an alliance, but he is kind of getting bullied down south. Soviet Union is kind of going back into him. I think now is the time to go into Keston, especially now that he's just so weak. I think we could maybe get some people in on this. Uh, yeah, let's go and right in timing his with his attack. And yes, immediately save the bot in the Soviet Union. Uh, pick up on what we're doing. We'll go ahead and give this guy a truce over here and see if he accepts it. Now that he's nice and big, we're going to want to be on his side. I'd love to go into King O attack down south. This does look like a really good target for everybody. Everyone does have some nice borders on him, but uh, yeah. Do I want to go first though is the only issue. And if we get pushed out here, it's going to be really bad for us. Trump goes in, so that's really wonderful. We'll join in on this attack and try and grab some of this land. Again, we don't have the best borders, so we're probably not going to get the most out of it which means I don't want to be the most aggressive in it, but I want to try and push myself out and save the bot is it attacks me. That's the exact reason why I didn't want to be too aggressive. But if he's attacking me, he's not going down south. So I'm going to just ignore him for the time being. Keep grabbing this land. He is expending a lot of troops in order to get this done, which is perfectly fine by me. We'll grab the rest of this land over here that we didn't have to share. And now we have a natural target and save the bot. Soviet Union hasn't attacked us in uh, Trump troll. We did just kind of work with, so hopefully he'll want to be our friend. Let's see if he's interested. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. We're just going to save the bot. We have a lot of troops. We're still fourth on the board. We'll give some nice meaty attacks in here. I think Venom and the green player over there are going to want to join in on this as well. Now, his attacks are not doing a ton right now. He's got a lot less troops. I think he was banking on other people joining in on this attack. And so far, nobody has. So we just want to keep whittling him down. Eventually, Venom and Sw the Sweely, uh, whatever his name is, the green player, <laughs> will want to join in on this. We just got to keep weakening them down. But let's keep expanding our troop count to be nice and high so that we don't get attacked ourselves. He does want a truce. We will take that. So now we'll just keep pushing into him. We have uh, an alliance. The green player is now in on this. 
Now, truth be told, if once we get through save the bot, if I'm in a position to take out the green player, I'm probably going to do so just because the Trump player down below us is very, very strong. and He's got a lot of land. He's actually above us in the leaderboard. We'll probably be above him after we take out save the bot because he doesn't have access to any of this land. And if he tries to go into Venom, then we just have plenty of access over there. He misses a big expansion over in the Middle East. And so that's going to be kind of detrimental for him. I think he's going down south into Australia and Oceania. So we'll just keep fighting this fight. It is a very long fight, and that's just kind of what we have to do to protect ourselves. If we started going in a little bit harder, I really think Soviet Union and Trump would recognize that and start to attack me. So we want to, our goal is to really be above 3.5 million troops, and I am expending a little bit more attacks than I want to. I'm trying to finish this guy off so that I don't get attacked in this moment. But fortunately for us, Soviet Union has a border with Kush, so I don't think he's in a, in a mode to attack me. Now, Venom finally joins in. That's good to know. We're going to go ahead and attack the green player since he is so weak and then probably go straight down into Venom. But again, being at 3 million troops, very weak, very weak. Venom offers a truce. Uh, I'm not sure if I really want to accept. Yeah, let's just go ahead and accept that, even though I'm going to go straight into him right away and just keep fighting down this green player right here. He only has 400,000 troops, but again, we're trying to keep above 3.5 million to look a little bit scary. He's down to 100,000, so let's go ahead and push through, finish this one off. And exactly while I was trying to keep up my troops is Trump now betrays us. So I'm happy that we have this truce with Venom. Hopefully he wants to hold true with that. But we do enter into second place, much stronger than Trump. So we can just hold this one out as long as we don't get betrayed in this battle by either Venom or Soviet Union. So that's kind of what I'm banking on. I'm really hoping because I haven't attacked Soviet Union. I haven't attacked. Okay, he betrayed me. Hurts my feelings. And Venom has also betrayed me. Hurts my feelings. So let's try and get Kush in on this, um, attacking Troll. Maybe one of them will kind of help. Oh, he attacks Soviet Union. That's so huge for us. Let's uh, let's say, hey, look at the crown over there. We're not the threat here anymore. Don't worry about us. Let's try and truce with them. We'll truce with Venom again. And Kush is getting attacked. Trump accepts our truce. That's super huge for us. I think being patient in this moment and just re-asking for the truce is what's kind of made the difference there. Now we have a very weak Soviet Union. Trump wants to charge. I'm going to tell him to just shield up for the time being. Or Venom, excuse me. I think he wanted to go in on Troll. So we'll just shield up for the time being. Extremely sad and alone is a bot. And he's going straight into Kush. So we're going to go ahead and take out the Soviet Union. Who also becomes a bot at this time. Get our little bit of revenge right there. And now we have a choice. We could utilize Kush and go into Troll. Or Troll. We could utilize Troll and go into Kush. Now, Kush is very strong in terms of pixel count. He's going to get a lot stronger by grabbing all of this in Africa. I'm surprised Trump didn't even try and go in on that. Let's try and get him involved. We really need to push through this guy together. And I'm just a little bit worried about trying to ally with someone who's already betrayed me. Jessica is very strong down south. I think Trump is going to have to start fighting that guy, which is actually pretty good for us. So now Kush is getting absolutely huge. I don't think we have a choice. Yes, Trump goes in. Let's go in ourselves. Let's keep pushing down this guy. He's only got 5 million troops, so we have the advantage on this. Trump is wanting to just keep going in. He's going in very heavily with the attacks. I'm going to keep joining him. The worst thing I, that could happen to me in this moment is getting cut off by Trump. So we'll just keep pushing here. He's down to 5 million troops. He wants the truce. I'm definitely not going to give it to him, at least for the time being. I really want to push through. I don't really want to be the guy who switches his alliances that often. I feel like that is a dangerous path to go down, and people will recognize that no one's an idiot and they're gonna betray me and attack me so let's just keep pushing into this guy hopefully we don't eat any kind of full send on this one and uh yeah he's still trying to get me to go into this guy me and trump are constantly fighting for battle trump is going to get the the lion's share out of this unless we can turn the corner which seems rather unlikely even though we are bigger we do have a lot more troops and now he's getting attacked by the black player from greenland so things are not looking good he's threatening the boom uh don't really want to get boomed right now that'd be super bad for us that might actually cost us the game jessica is now working her way up through the rest of africa and that will be a threat as well so i think we're going to sit on this i could attack venom at this moment that might be smart um yeah i could just leave kush and hopefully he won't full send me and i can go into venom really quickly while trump maybe is not zoomed out enough to see it let's get let's try and get this one done Let's keep attacking into this as unfortunately Jessica is working her way into this. Trump gives a big push into Kush. So now we now the full send is is null at this point. So he does full send. He does give a big attack into us. I'm not that concerned with it at the moment. And now Jessica's working her way through, which might be good for us because trolls in between the two of us. 
So we have a natural ally, enemy of my enemy type thing. And we can afford to get a lot of the land. But it's just about how we kind of figure things out from here. And where do we go? Venom is obviously number one on the leaderboard. We have now become much smaller than Troll, who is below us. But I think if we can get most of this land and maybe even push into the Black Flare, we're going to be able to recuperate a lot of those losses and really be a little bit more competitive. So we are only about 8,000 pixels or 10,000 pixels off. So let's try and grab some of these islands, just whatever we can do to be a little bit stronger. As the Crown Jessica down below has a lot of land and a lot of troops. So Troll is going to have to fight that one off. I'm going to go ahead and expand into El Chapo over here. Just again, trying to grab some land. I don't think Trump is going to want to be too involved in this just because he has borders with Jessica. And I do believe that Jessica just gave an attack right there into Trump. So we'll just kind of keep waiting on this. We're unfortunately fighting a pretty hefty battle with Chapo. He is very strong. Now, the one thing I was kind of hoping on is this red player over here in the new world would join in on this. But it, we're kind of doing this back and forth really silently. No one's really giving us any attention. We're not getting attacked. So this is working out really well. We're just kind of leveraging trolls position knowing that he would not be able to attack us and if he did that'd be the end of both our games but this just helps me out a little bit becoming a slightly more competitive with the rest of the board should that happen now i am going to leave troll to his own devices and hopefully i can have a friend with uh, the red player over in the new world now what is a little bit scary is that uh jessica is attacking that donald trump player over there so let's try and boat down here so we can be ready to help out in australia should we need that or should that person pulse in by any means? So we'll just keep waiting here. And now we're in a great position to just be patient. We don't need to do anything right away. Troll, troll, it's up to troll and Donald Trump. And we can join in slightly, but honestly, we're probably gonna get kicked off our islands right away should we uh, try to kind of get in there. So just being in a better position to reboot in, I think is gonna be really helpful. Troll's gotta make a decision now. He's gotta go in on the crown or he's gonna lose the game. Now. My plan is, is to let Troll do a lot of damage, switch sides, take out Troll, and then kind of deal with the rest of the world, plus the rest of the landscape. But let's get over here in case Jessica loses that we can grab potentially Australia really, really fast. So now it's a bit of a waiting game. We need to kind of see what everybody else wants to do. Donald Trump says, hey, attack this Jessica person. Uh, I'm not in a really position to do that. Let's try and get Jessica in on attacking Troll. And if they want to do that, I'll help out a little sneaky snake about that and best part about this plan if it succeeds is we save donald trump from uh his destruction and have a potential ally out of that so jessica does accept the truce i'm gonna say he they're interested in going in that's wonderful let's um no 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 don't attack don't attack trump attack this person i think they're they figured that i was telling that i would attack troll no 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 that's not how this is going to work out we need to work together on this i need a little something out of this especially because trump is bigger than me by about twenty thousand pixels so there's no way i'm going in on this alone that would be a death spiral for me and that would just hand jessica the crown so trying to play a little bit more intelligently than that but this is quite the stalemate we have going on here as we really need jessica to join in on this and we'll go ahead and grab some more islands along the way i guess we need to just Keep being slightly more competitive there are five players left and we are fourth the germany is just somewhere i guess you know but uh if jessica will start going into troll we can maybe make something happen but if not let's go ahead and boat around and then maybe grab this little island off the tip of antarctica that we can kind of use as a basing um, a base to maybe attack jessica if jessica is not going to do what we want but it does look like uh troll has maybe boated in yes troll is attacking jessica so that's super wonderful i think that's going to put the pressure on her to be like hey i need to i need an ally in this i'm going to be like no 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 stop attacking trump and start attacking this person they really want me to attack trump i don't think they recognize i don't have any borders on this person so let's go ahead and grab this little island i talked about it's a little sneaky snake island where it's really hard to see when you're zoomed out so it's a great staging point to capture antarctica in the late game so I think Jessica's finally, yes, Jessica's finally in on this. Let's go ahead and help her out a little bit. Maybe give him an attack that has some meaning. There we go. Hey, I'm in on this as well. Let's keep working on this together. And I might give another attack or two and then back off Trump. I don't want to get uh, Trump to attack me. That would be super bad for the rest of my plans of world domination. He does give me the broken heart. I understand that, but this is a game of only one winner, and I still feel like I have a chance of being that one winner. So we'll just keep letting Jessica do the heavy lifting on attacking Troll. Hopefully Troll will attack back into Jessica instead of us. 
and they do wisely boat into india which is very detrimental to us as that really limits our ability to grab asia so we'll just kind of be really patient on this making sure that we always have more troops control we'll give him a truce back he did ask for it and now that i think jessica's involved with troll troll can no longer be a bystander in this and is getting attacked so we'll just kind of wait for that to kind of develop more in our favor donald j trump is getting rather large there is able to have been saving up a lot of troops which is really good for us and now we are bigger than troll which is wonderful kind of preserving our chance of winning now we could try and kick jessica out of uh asia through india but i think still going in on troll is the best maneuver for us and hopefully at the end of this we'll have enough land to take on jessica she's not that much bigger than the two of us me and donald j trump so i feel like going back on trump is going to be the wise move he's not really attacking anymore he's just turtling up which is a wise decision on his front but not helping me out in my grand strategy of backstabbery so we do finish off uh, donald j trump over there which is super wonderful and now we have jessica as a target so let's go ahead and grab on you know what we're not gonna be able to get there in time so hopefully donald day j trump wants to go into jessica so this could be a position where we peace out i don't really want to go over into the new world i don't want donald day trump to have any borders with me unless he has to vote in but let's tell him what do you think about attacking Jessica? I know we probably, oh, he's in. I know we waited too long. Our optimal time to attack was a lot earlier, but I think we can still do this together. If you add up our pixel count, we're bigger than Jessica. So let's start attacking. Now, hopefully John, Donald J. Trump does see this and want to join in because we are putting ourselves out there. We're exposing ourselves rather greatly. So we're going to need him to join in on the attack. It doesn't look like he's doing it. Um, Let's give another attack in on Jessica. I think he is attacking. It's kind of hard. Yes, he is attacking. He is attacking. That is good to know. Uh, he's trying to say shield up. No, 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 no. This is the moment to charge. We need to charge. We're at full interest. We're not going to get any stronger. If we just let Jessica keep building up, she's just going to give powerful attacks into one of us. So the two of us need to kind of be minions and just knocking her down. And Donald Day Trump is in on this, which is super great. Now, one concern of mine is that he's going to grab the rest of South America and just chill. That would be detrimental to everyone's chance of winning. Don, 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 Trump's uh, Trump would lose if he did that strategy. He needs to keep pushing with me as Jessica has a significant land advantage over both of us. So we'll keep pushing. Jessica is just turtling up. I'm very aware that at any moment that could turn into a massive attack on me and probably me as I have the most of the land world right now. I'm the second strongest player. So I am the natural target, but we'll keep pushing into her. And as long as she's not attacking, we'll just kind of keep poking the bear, I guess. And we'll just kind of see how it goes. I wish Trump was attacking a little bit more often. I understand he doesn't have nearly as many troops as I do. And he could build up a little bit. But now is not the time to build up. Now is the time to attack. So we'll keep going into Jessica until she kind of punishes us for it. And just seeing what we could do. Now, waiting wouldn't do anything for us because we've been under 1% this whole time. So giving some more attacks in there is the only thing we can do. And as long as she's content to just tank it, we'll be content with uh, fighting it out. As Donald Trump has almost knocked him out of South America, which is super great for us. As long as we keep up these attacks, we're going to be looking pretty. And we are gaining land very, very slowly. We've we've cut uh, Jessica's lead by 30,000 pixels already just by the two of us doing these minor attacks. I don't know what Jessica is doing, just kind of holding off. She might be playing the geopolitical game of hoping that me and Trump have borders and attack each other. Uh, I'm not planning on doing that. Trump is boating over into Jessica from uh, into Africa, which is fine. It's going to cut off, off our land a little bit. But don't forget, we have that nice little island down there in, in Antarctica that we can grab the rest of that island should that time arise. But I don't want to reveal that. That's a Trump card. If they find out I have that island too early, they can quickly push me off of it. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do about that. And then I lose that sneak attack ability. So... We'll just keep pushing down her. She is in a very, very stubborn state and just kind of hoping for the best at this point because we are really struggling to get her down. She's not really losing a lot of troops. We need you to kind of keep going. I'm going, brother. And not to ruin too much for you, but after this, Jessica did not move. She did not emoji. She just kind of sat there and took it. And it took me and Trump a long time to whittle her down. I was being very cautious with my troops as well, just in case Trump tried to betray me. But at no point he did. We were able to work this together and end things with each other so 
as we wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you've made it this far in the video. If you haven't made it this far in the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.